And queens are here finally in Grounded, but how do you actually get the stuff from them? You've got brand new armor sets, you may have some new weapons, tools, and you may be able to get some really exclusive stuff. Well, I'm going to give you a little bit of a semi-guide today, because I'm still working a few things out, but I am going to show you how to at least do some stuff with the first Ant Queen. I recorded all of this as I was streaming, so you are going to see my camera, which doesn't necessarily match my voice. Let's go. So you're going to have to head over to the Haze and this is where you're going to unlock everything you need for the regular Ant Queen. In the little control room where you flick the switch so you can go and take on the infected Ladybug. You should notice a new piece of data in a folder on the side and this is going to give you the recipe for the Poison Mushroom Sandwich. Now the Juicy Mushroom Sandwich I do believe you get from completing the Haze Laboratory and handing in the Super Chip to Burgle, it will then appear in the ASL shop and you'll be able to buy it for 2,500 raw signs. I say this because I jumped straight into New Game Plus and it wasn't showing for me. Lots of people were saying it was already showing in the ASL shop. I'm guessing that's because they'd already picked up and handed in the Haze chip. And because New Game Plus resets all of the Super Chips, you will have to hand in the Haze Super Chip once more before it unlocks. And the third option that you'll probably see with a big question mark on it is to infect the Ant Queen. You'll find the recipe in the pipe where you come into the Haze Laboratory. So it's going to be hard to spot. You might want to make sure you've got an underwater torch to help things a little bit more. Eventually, you should discover the infected recipe for the Ant Treat. Definitely have wide interaction on to help you find it if you can't see it. As I said, head back to Burgle, you'll see the Friendship Offering Red Ant Queen 2500 Raw Science. Then craft it at your oven and you can see you're going to need 2 apple bits, 5 mushrooms and 2 aphid honeydew. That will get you the juicy mushroom sandwich, which is going to be the friendly option to the Ant Queen. Poison version is the same, but you swap out the honeydew for 2 spider venom. And then for the infected mushroom sandwich, again, same thing, but you swap out and need 20 fungal growth instead of the aphid honeydew or the two spider venom. And remember, you will not be able to craft the infected one until you've gone into New Game Plus. And so you may have to complete two New Game Pluses if you want to see the effects of what actually happens with an infected ant queen. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, instant regret. Oh, 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 oh. Red ant queen head, 10 ant queen chunks, gold cards, okay, yep. Yeah. You get some ant queen pheromones, okay. It wasn't pretty, was it? So, yep, you get all the stuff you need to go ahead and make the brand new ant armor and scepter. Also, access this secret little room with a ton of goodies. You won't have any of these chests here if it's not New Game Plus. You'll just have a bunch of quartzite instead. Go and scan the ant head and the other parts, and you'll unlock, obviously, the strategic stuff, as well as the brand new red ant decor. Ant Queen's head gives you the trophy as well as the headpiece. And then obviously you've got the pheromone and that'll unlock the scepter as well as the chase and the chandelier. And then the Ant Queen chunks, that'll unlock the rest of the armor set as well as a stuffed Red Ant Queen. Strategist head piece will need one Red Ant Queen head, the three Red Ant Queen chunks and one Red Ant Queen pheromone. You can see that it's a level one piece of armor. So bear in mind, I was getting a bit twisted with this thinking it wasn't really worth it, but I was playing a new game plus. By the time you get to this, you're probably just about starting to get a lot more tier 2 armor sets if you're doing a brand new playthrough, you've never played the game before. So it's just about on that border between tier 1 and tier 2. And obviously, yeah, it's not got much defense at all. Certainly once I've got into New Game Plus, it's kind of worthless. The perks for it are that you get to summon aggro. So any creatures that you summon will take more aggro and creatures will attack them. So that goes for your mants, that goes for spiderlings and the brand new ant soldier that you'll be able to summon when you use the scepter. The scepter, you're gonna need five red ant parts, one of the pheromones, 10 sap, and two red ant mandibles. And it is classed as a tier two weapon. And its perk is that you'll have more HP for your summons. The strategist coat will need three crude rope, four of the ant queen chunks, and one ant pheromone, and just about three and a half defense, with a resistance of 10%. 
and trousers, one white fuzz, three and queen chunks, one pheromone, and the same kind of thing. Only one and a half defense and 5% resistance, just like the headpiece. So there we go, you've got the three pieces bonus from all of them, which will mean more aggro, and then you've got the special bonus wearing all three pieces. That's when it's going to give you a red soldier ant fight by your side. Just added with this update, there's new effects if you upgrade down the mighty path. In this instance, it's going to give more attack speed using the scepter. So if you want to choose that instead of getting vibe fresh, salty, spicy or sour, you can do so. And if you go ahead and upgrade your armor down the sleek path, then you get summon thorns and it will do damage anytime a creature hits your summoned pet or creature, then it's going to do the same damage back. So initially, I really wasn't impressed with this. It felt like it does way too little damage considering I've already upgraded it to like level 7 and just look how tiny. Now again, I am in New Game Plus, so the enemies are always a little bit more tankier, but the summon itself went wandering elsewhere before finally coming to attack, obviously the roly poly. It didn't last very long either, it definitely needs a buff straight away. This is the kind of thing that would have been good for PTB. So yeah, I hope they buff the duration of the summon Red Soldier Ant and give a little bit more damage to the Scepter itself. So you can see one fighting obviously a Ladybird Larvae here. It does a good amount of damage, but only if you've upgraded that armor so it gets that Thorns effect. That seems to be doing a lot more than obviously just the Red Soldier Ant on its own. So where does its strength really lie? in using the other summons making sure you've got the ant man summon on so if you got to that stage of the game although it's quite a bit into it and this is obviously meant to be maybe the first stage of summoning something and mum's genes which obviously you get from taking on the brood mother so it has a chance then of spawning pretty much all three of your summons the ant soldier as well as the mant and obviously the spiderling and again you could swap it out for the black widow one if you get that far too but yeah, overall, I'm not really impressed and I can't say it's worth bothering with the armor set or the scepter just yet. If they buff and boost up the damage stats on it or make the things last longer, maybe. And even considering it's early stages of the game, I just don't think there's much use for it. The only exception being maybe in boss fights to distract enemies like normally would like bosses and they would be doing a bit more damage as they will take away that focus for you to heal. So if you're having a real tough time taking on bigger creatures or bosses then that might be the time to have it. So what if you take the friendly route? Well if you give it a nice juicy mushroom sandwich it's going to give you a baby ant pet as a reward. You'll also unlock the Ant Ambassador uh, mutation, which gives Ant Hum, which basically, as we kind of predicted, will protect you against them types of ants while you've got it equipped. So pretty much have this mutation on and no red ants are going to harm you. Although you do have to leave the ant heal and then it will start working. If you try equipping it right away and then take off any of the ant armor that you might have put on to get into the ant heal, it won't work. The soldiers will attack you. It has got three levels, so obviously if you want it for the black ants so they don't ever hurt you, and then obviously the fire ants, which definitely might come in more useful, that will be the way to do it. It also the only way that you'll be able to get the finished gold cards to get the gold card for the baby ant. You do get a bunch of pheromones as well to keep, which you can craft some stuff with, like the scepter, but you won't get access to that secret little room with all that loot. And obviously the pheromones are in the egg piles all around the ant queen. So the scepter without the armor giving it its buffs and boosts, I think it's probably even not worth it at all. It's definitely a strange combination here. You can maybe sense I'm not totally down with it. And that's it for that playthrough. You won't be able to do anything or interact with the red ant queens or the other queens again. It's the same kind of principle. You'll find the recipes for the other ant queens in respective locations. So the black ant lab seems to be where the next set of recipes are going to be, which makes sense for the black ant. And then obviously the fire ant will be the fire ant hill and maybe the stump. The ant scepter itself, you can see how little damage, how little stun and how little speed it has. Definitely like a support class or just a bit more unique take on it. And then you've got the infected option. So I was thinking you couldn't do this until you've gone into New Game Plus, but it does look like you can. You just need to make sure obviously you've got the right ingredients and stuff. And yes, you can then obviously infect, poison it. You'll still get all the same stuff you would have got if you poisoned it. And you can see here though, we sense a ripple in an alternate dimension. So this is why I think that next time we load up New Game Plus, we'll find that this ant hill has become infected with a bunch of the ants running around. There is special gold cards or cards for infected ant queen and infected ant. Also infected soldier. 
but it doesn't say red ant. So you may be able to do this on any one of the three different ant queens and effectively still be able to get the gold card for it or the cards for it and possibly any extra items. So here's where I went digging into the game files because you can't use any cheats and it doesn't appear in the playgrounds mode, but it was in the trailer that there was an infected shield. Also, according to the game files, there is a infected or just a brand new spear made out of the infected ant parts. So I'm going to dig deeper and see if I can bring that to you in the Ultimate Ant Queen guide. Eventually, I'm going to go and work on the Black Ant one now and the Fire Ant, and that's going to be coming very soon. But for now, I just don't think it's worth your time or resources, even if you're starting a completely brand new fresh game or fairly new to Grounded, to bother with this set until it gets a bit more love and a bit more of a buff. But let me know if I'm wrong. Does this sound cool? At least it is another type of build. And I'll see you right back for more Grounded guides. Make sure you subscribed and like this video if you found it useful. Bye-bye.